So, just had one of them weird events. So I'm driving. Hit a little boom boom. I'm like, okay, whatever. Thought maybe I just like, you know, hit the, try something, hit my tire the wrong way or whatever. Keep driving, and all of a sudden I see my uh, alternator light come on. So I'm like, okay, what the heck is that? So I say, you know what? That might be my fan belt because I didn't hear my fan kind of twirling around making the, you know, the fan noise. So I said, well, I'm going to try to make it a, a block or two. So then I made it a, a tried to make it to the block, I popped it to the gas station. Get to the gas station, then I find this. My air cleaner decides to, my air cleaner come, pops off the dang, um, the lid and the filter flies off the freaking, uh, I don't even know what the lid to it went. The air cleaner flies off and then it uh, lands on uh, where my fan belt is, rubs it to the dang, and then pops the dang uh, fan belt. So, yep. And then I say, well, I need to drive and I can't be sitting right here, you know, uh, waiting for AAA. I'll be stuck on the side of the road waiting for two days. So then I said, well, let me find somewhere closer that will kind of get me to where, where I got to get to closer to where I got to get to, which is work. And let me go to AutoZone and just grab the belt, may, if they have it, if I'm lucky. And I get there, and they don't open it till 8 o'clock. Lucky for me, it was 6.45, so this is going to be fun. I had to call my job, let them know I was going to be late. Just, yeah. This is an exciting morning already. Uh, it looks like one of my, what's the name? Uh, oh, it broke. It broke. Wow. That's crazy. So now I'm looking here. And one of my what's name broke, so that's gonna be another problem. Yeah. Little stuff, little stuff, little stuff. The little stuff becomes big stuff and starts to become irritating. So yeah, that's my problem for the day. I'm trying to see if I can fix that problem myself without making a phone call to uh Omi Pop or uh VW spot. Yep, and hopefully that's just the problem. Okay. I'll check in later. About that time again, as you can see. So, not only did my fan belt pop this morning, fucking tire went bald. See that? Let me show y'all. Right, I might cut that out. Yeah, so it went, it smoothed it out. That's that rip for that rear camber from where it sits. Yeah, man, I think it's, it's time to raise her up and uh, get her stock height in the rear and raise it up slightly in the front so I can have some, a little bit more control. Yep, and then we back on. I think you're going to check the uh, balance on it and all that. Busy today? Busy today? Yeah. Think about the love over here while our tires. They give you the, uh, they balance you out, checks, make sure everything uh, where it's supposed to be at. Oh yeah, and by the way, I think what happened, my uh, internal forensic uh, forensic scientist uh, mind, I think that air cleaner, right, it had a, a defect in it, and those wells right there make the screw disconnect. When the screw came off, basically when the screw came off, um, the top came off, and then the air cleaner got caught, the actual air filter got caught right there by the belt, and it just sat there and it just rubbed into the, uh, to the belt pop. And then I end up buying a belt and then I end up finding out that I had a belt. It's like, yeah, it, it sucks sometimes like when you be working on these, like, 
they'll get real reliable and trusty. you. This is your friend. All of a sudden, one day, something stupid happens. And it's usually an empty part involved. Sorry, empty. I know, like, I would one day wish I could get a sponsorship from you guys. But sometimes with some of y'all products, y'all shouldn't allow y'all name to be put on it. Because them products are inferior, bro. Like, those air cleaners used to last you a little while. And, you know, about worth something. I mean, I don't know if it's new people that's making the making the parts for you or you got a new person that's doing the work or whatever for you guys or what, what the case may be. But now the products, they weren't the greatest to begin with at one point. Not to say that all your products aren't good, but you know, you know, some of y'all parts aren't, aren't, aren't as good. Anyway, um, whatever y'all got doing y'all parts now, are, they, 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 they slipping and y'all, they just wasting y'all. You know, I know you're getting your parts made and you're keeping up with orders and all that, your numbers up, but come on, bro. That's not fair, bro. I got a lot of empty stuff on this car and just come on now. Right, if it's back on and he about to boat up and I'll be ready. Just pay him off and we're done with the day. Ain't video, but like different, like two week different. So in between like when I was doing a show and you know, whatever we have fixed that problem now, I don't know, might be a sponge drum and we're gonna see right now. So I'm really not sure. So it might be a sponge drum, but I just know when I get off the clutch, it jumps and I try to Google it and everything, trying to look and see if somebody got a video. That's a video you can do, Slays. Uh, I guess a video of like, when something go wrong, what, what, are you, what are you listening for? What are you noticing? Stuff like that, like where you kind of troubleshoot it. But that's the hardest part. Like with a lot of these problems that would happen in our Volkswagens, we don't know when we driving them. Some guys can like, you know, the, you know, the pros and ones been driving them every day for, you know, a multitude of years. They kind of can tell, but for me, I don't know. Okay, they do it now. See, now it's acting like it got some sense. This car better not do like, you know when you uh, feel sick, all of a sudden you go to the doctor and the, when you're at the doctor, you don't feel anything. The pain is gone. Everything is alleviated. All the issues and symptoms you had seem to subside. Then you get back home, you feel like crap again. This car better not do that to me, I swear. Okay, here it come back. Now that it's back, let's see. It act normal. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This, this is how you act now. Okay. 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 All right. Dump the clutch. Yeah. Hmm? Supposed to it like that? I know you ain't supposed to dump it like that, but still, like. You still that? Well, see that clunk clunk? There you go. And see, you don't do it every time. That's what's weird about it. You only do it sometimes. She said, you're going to have to put me on some info with this one. That's the weird one. That's what's weird about it. Cause it was like, so I'll change uh, turn of events. 
it was the drum. We suspected it wasn't a drum because it wasn't acting like a little rascally rabbit. And then we find out it's the drum. It spun a gun. So we was like, I was like blocks away. Yeah. <laughs> I was inches away from total catastrophe. Yeah. Woo-wee. Luckily, I bought another drum. Think Omar, boy, you got to, I don't know how you be seeing it. How he, I, it's crazy how he knew it, knew it. Yeah. He was like, ain't nothing else, bro. It ain't nothing else. Yeah, that's true. That's crazy. He knew exactly what it was. See, and it didn't even it didn't feel like a sponge drum or nothing. Well, I guess because it was still working. And, it, and plus, you had uh, already had the brakes tightened up, and you know, saying you had adjusted them all good last yeah. time. Because yeah, right now, when I took it off, it didn't even want to come on. Uh, yeah, that drum on there, right, right. <laughs> yeah, this time, already right, right. When are we gonna do that? That'll be the next adventure. You know how to do that? No, to be honest, no. You don't know how to click I've, it? Or I've never done it. I know how to do it, but I've never done it. I've seen it, but I've never done What's, it. How, I will say it on the camera, but I ain't going to say it because, you know, we're going to change. The price is going to change, and keep might hit you up for that price. Uh-huh. <laughs> but we're going to have to figure out the number off camera, and then, like, yeah, I want to put it back normal. I do like how it looks kind of cute with the slam, but I can't deal with the headaches of it no more. Yeah, just, yeah. Because I thought I only went one click down. That's what I thought. Oh, see, oh, that's how it's supposed to look. Oh, pretty. Oh, pretty. Brand new. Ooh, fresh out the box. Only downside about those, the time they last. <laughs> Something about these new ones, they even, they got even less life, a shorter lifespan than the old ones. I already was making that metal in 1965, and the way they make metal now, two different things. Oh, it's another one? Mm-hmm. Oh, no. It's just not new. That's a regular, regular car. Oh, <laughs> yeah, because I be hearing those. Uh, you know what I be thinking be bugs sometimes? Them uh, Subarus. Yeah. Yeah. They kind of got that sound a little bit. I'm like, oh. Yeah, tell me why I was on my way here and then uh, I left the, I was charging it at work, mm-hmm. uh, the stabilizer that she mm-hmm. gave me, no, and uh, I got to like, I got to like Sautel and Nashville, mm-hmm. nah, fuck, so I spent the car and went back and uh, I was going down Pico mm-hmm. and this dude, random ass dude, like out of nowhere, and like I say, I was just cruising. And he put up on me. <gasps> I'm like, what the fuck? Like, he all on my ass. I'm like, hell, whatever. You know, I ain't, I ain't tripping. And then, uh, we, I got to, I turned right off of Pico onto 14th. Mm-hmm. And I was going down the hill and there was a red light. And then he put up on the side and he's like, man, what, what is that? Like, what, what, you ever seen the, the Subaru ones? And I was like, yeah, I seen them like this. I seen some builds in person, and then I seen like, I seen like the really crazy one, the STI, and uh, I think it's a guy like in the UK or something. Mm. And uh, he got the STI motor. In there. For real? Crazy, yeah, yeah. That's, I think it's a three, three point something, but it's crazy. It's ridiculous, crazy. Ridiculous, you know. But the only thing with the super sauce is that you gotta put that in like. A car that's already whooped, or mm-hmm. 
like a Super Beetle or some shit. Yeah, somewhere where you can with fans so you don't have to cut people, nothing. Most people put them in the Super Beetles because they got the better suspension. Yeah. You know, I, I would put it in the, uh, I'm not even going to lie, I put it in the, uh, like a late model bus, like a late model bay. This is low key kind of ugly, and then me putting something where I could pull the radiator off on it, where it don't look too, you know what I'm saying, too out of place. Yeah, I want other than that, like older buzz, I couldn't do it. I feel like I feel like I'm just like ruining the game. Cause they not like it's not a cheaper alternative to the uh, to uh, getting a uh, two liter something, a big two liter, a powerful two liter built. Especially like cost wise. Man, I, I wanna, I wanna build a motor. I don't know what I'm gonna build, but I wanna build something from scratch. Yeah, me too. I ain't gonna lie. Well, I just wanna pay for it. I don't wanna do the work. <laughs> <laughs> I, ain't gonna do, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna do the work. Cause it looks stressful. Like I ain't gonna lie, it looks stressful. Like I don't know. Like no, okay. setting the bearings and all that, and putting them, placing them in there, and then putting them at the right. Da da da. I, I watch yeah, videos. See, I, I wanna learn that. I don't know how to do that. Like I'm too impatient. I'm too clumsy. I'm gonna break. Something gonna hit the flow. Either a rod or something. Like something gonna hit the ground. <laughs> I'm gonna try to hit the uh, what's the names the pit the. Uh, the pissing over the sleeve, I mean the sleeve over the pissing and something, a ring gonna come out and I'm gonna just be mad in the mud. Yeah, Problem solved and it didn't even take us all night. <laughs> You know. <laughs> hey, I'm happy for that, man. All I gotta do is let them put the wheels back on and take it around the corner to give it a test drive to see what it what it do, and then I'm gonna see what it do, and then boom, we done. I have a whole video about this, so I'm not gonna hold y'all to this whole thing. But I'll just show y'all the test drive. All right. See, that's where I'm gonna. That's why I'm gonna get him to sit it at. You gonna sit it like that for me? Yeah. Yeah. I get it there. Cool. Cause I, man, I can't, I can't, I can't be tearing up no more drums. I can't be burning out no more bearings. And then the squat when we driving. It's still gonna squat, yeah. When I back up and then the. Yeah, yeah. 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 Back up, then I don't burn no tires. I'm like saving three different things. And I still got the little little, little low in the front. Mm -hmm. right, that's what I want, so I can get on the freeway. Then I'll probably be confident on the freeway. Because <laughs> right now, I feel like all I feel is just bouncing. I feel like it'd be dislocating stuff when I be doing traffic. <laughs> like, man, back be out of alignment. Like, I'm tired from the hour drive of going to work. <laughs> Feel like I done worked out. Yeah, that's gonna be it. Yeah, that'd be a perfect ride. Right? Yeah, get out the, get out the ground. Yeah, it's still low, but it ain't like. Yeah. See how low it. <laughs> Look like I got hydraulics on it. It got so low just now. So we're gonna test it out. Now it's smooth. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Can't wait to get rid of that butterfly. Look at the twins.